Hello everyone, I am Vikram P. Maduri here. In this session, we are going to discuss uh, SAP BW 7.5 Project 3 Part 2. Uh, this is uh, this is not a, 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 a session which we am I'm, I'm doing it for for the beginners. This is for just for a recap for my students. So uh, please keep that in mind. And if at all, if you are looking at this video uh, to learn it, maybe it will be it will it will look uh, a bit faster. So this is basically a, a internet for my students as a recap okay let's start with this con concept in which we actually have to load the data from from the dot csv file into the into the dso and then from dso to cube so we'll go to the data source level we'll first create an info package because we need to do the extraction here so we need to create an application component i'm doing it as jsoft underscore ac component for trade software say okay and in this we have created uh, uh, a application component which will be at the last so right click on the application component create a data source in this we are creating data sources uh, something like trade soft underscore ds and then we have to go ahead with the data source name now this is a transaction data we just say OK and we'll have this uh, data source DS for uh, DS for uh, JH. Now we'll go to the extraction. In the extraction, uh, we'll be browsing the file name in the local, local workstation. So I'll go for the PC. It was there in the desktop. So I'll desktop, desktop, JH Optic 1 is the file name. So the first row should be ignored because uh, it has the headings and we need to go for .csv file and here we'll change that semicolon as comma because it's a comma separated value because it's .csv by default it will be comma separated value data so allow the file okay you get the data here fields yes fields preview read preview data so it will insist us for activation of the uh, activation of the data source so it will ask you for the package so we'll go for the package uh, ZJ Softtech is a package. Save it and it will also ask the request number. So, own request. Click on the own request and find uh, the request number which we have. So, just say OK. And once it's been done, and say OK. Yeah, basically, the name date is reserved uh, uh, for uh, standard uh, fields. That's the reason it's basically not allowed, but it's OK because it's in the source file. So it will still give us warning and then will it will allow us. So allow. So you you will get this uh, data in the in in the preview of uh, data source. So we are done with this. So it looks fine. And we'll go ahead and uh, create an uh, create a info package. We'll create an info package. Create info package and then we have to go for chains of underscore info IP one the IP one say again we have to save it in the uh, package just say okay and once it's been done we'll go to the schedule directly and click on start hello so data was requested so we'll go for monitoring so once we click on the monitoring you will have you have nine records here just we'll re refresh and it's already been loaded select this and we'll click on the psa to check whether the data has been there or not so we'll just confirm if the data is there yes data has come to the info package level so once it's been done we'll go back and uh, we'll go ahead with the data loading and the data loading into the dso so we'll go to the info provider level and then we have to go for the dso right click on the dso create transformations and in this we have to go for the data source and in data source name was uh, jhsoft i'll just check that uh, we want to make sure it is there so jhsoft uh, yeah this is the one and uh, the source system is zffladr it's by default coming so we have not created any any flyer source file so that's okay so just say okay and now we'll we'll get the transformation so we we'll let us map this customer number to customer number customer name to customer name phone to phone date to date save save 
say ok activate it's been activated now so once it's been activated we need to go for the in, uh, data transfer process double click on this just say ok and in this uh, we'll change it as uh, you know let it be delta delta will not be a big issue here performance will not be an issue because we always make sure it is uh, changed to initial update because uh, you know initial update will be faster and uh, you know delta will be slower since we have very less number of records and it's a hana database so it doesn't uh, make a difference so i'll activate this and once it's been done We'll click on execute so I need to click on execute and click it so once execute is done so I've executed this and uh, yeah so i'm coming back and just right click on this and activate data i click i uh, click activate data select this record and uh, the request and then go for start so as we all know we need to activate the data in the dso only then it will be it will show up there otherwise it will not show up yeah, it's been done so now let's check the data here so this is the data that we have here so it's like uh, we have this data in the dso dso data is successfully uploaded into dso now let's move on and uh, you know uh, load the data into the queue from the dso so let's get into the you know our source would be dso data store object now so data store object classic we need to make sure it is classic because uh, the advanced dso is something which we will create later in another session DSO. so all the transformations are already done because you we, we know that whenever the field names match automatically the system takes care of the mapping so it's been done just activate it save say okay so once it's been done we will be focusing on you know uh, data transfer process ddp say okay and then activate and Execute. Okay, DTP was successfully done. Let's check the data target. That's a queue. Select this, click on contents. Field selection for output. Employee name, employee number. Execute. Execute again. So we have this data here so this is the data that we have in the cube so we have successfully loaded the data into the cube so first we loaded the data into the dso and then from there we have uh, taken for taken it forward and uh, loaded the data into the cube with this like uh, this uh, uh, data into the data is successfully loaded into the into the um, into the bw dso bw 7.5 dso and then later into the cube this is what is the project that we have here